Purple fountain grass. What a fantastic addition to the garden. But you know where I used to use it the most? This was containerized on patios and around pools. It is something that uh, in the severe winters of the north, you kind of look at it as an annual. You can get it to come back, but sometimes it doesn't come back because the root zone burns and freezes really bad. Look at it for more as an annual if you're in a zone I would say six or below. But if you're somewhere seven, eight, nine, ten, fantastic landscape shrub. You will really like the, the seed heads on it, but be careful. Don't let them go to seed all at once because it'll tend to spread a little bit and come up in places that you don't want it. You know, the, the claim to fame is not necessarily the seed head. It's the green and burgundy foliage that the, pen, the, the purple fountain grass has. This one's called Penicetum rubrum, and rubrum oddly stands for burgundy red. And good, good containerized plant, good garden plant in the right area. It loves to be moist but not soggy, and it goes to about three feet, and then seed heads are even higher. But remember to trim those seed heads off. But a great soft addition to around pools, soft addition around patios, entryways, sunny entryways. Keep them moist if you got a real hot reflective wall and that kind of stuff because sometimes they'll tend to burn the tips a little bit. Very useful plant. You can see it. Very graceful. And it's called fountain grass because eventually it starts to trail back downward. So check it out next time here. Purple fountain grass. Hey, I'm Coach. Catch you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in.